from the sewing shop. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you on the Brother Entrepreneur 6 Plus, the PR670E, kind of an icon overview on your screen, okay? So of course we have our home screen here, which we have our different design categories. Um, and after we have our design categories, down here we have all of our input options. So are we going to open a design that's something that's saved already within the memory of the machine? Are we going to use an SD card to import something, a flash drive, direct clean up to your computer? Um, so those are your different options there. And then you have your settings here. You have a question mark button for um, built-in kind of manuals and descriptions and things like that of how to thread your needle, things like that. And then you also have the video tab. Okay, that's a really neat um, thing to do if you can't get a hold of your dealer and have questions. Maybe resort to that and see if that can give you your answer. And this one here, that's going to allow you to shift the head of your machine to get to a specific needle in order for you to um, thread that needle. Um, so if I wanted to go to needle one, I would just tap one, and it's going to shift the head of my machine and highlight number one. Okay. Um, if you're in the middle of embroidery and you're doing an applique or something, and instead of taking the hoop all the way off the machine, you can actually push this button here. And what it's going to do is it's going to tell you the arm's going to move, and it's going to push this arm to its most outward position um, for that hoop. And then, of course, when I press OK, it's going to tell me it's going to move again, and it's going to put it back into the embroidery position. Um, and of course you have your time down here that you can edit your settings for. Um, when I choose a design, I'm just gonna come here. These are your subcategories. I'm gonna go to this subcategory and choose my flower. And then you're gonna press set in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to allow you to go to the next screen. Um, if you wanted these icons to be a little bit bigger, you can press this option there. And those icons are going to enlarge for you or of course tap through if you want them really small. We like to leave it on the middle one, um, but once you have your design chosen, you're going to press set, and you can see at the top of the screen the size of that design here, what hoops that design will fit into. Um, since it's this size here, it's going to actually fit into all of my hoops. But if it was bigger, say a 4x4, four four, that little 1x2 hoop would be grayed out to where you wouldn't be able to use it. Um, this one here is your hoop button, and it'll allow you to visualize what that design is going to look like within that hoop. So you can kind of see how much space it's going to take up, um, or you can press a little plus sign here, and it's going to zoom it in full screen to give you more detail um, and zoom in to see what's going to be red, what's going to be that dark green, things like that. Okay. Now, um, up after you move down here, we're going to see the size of your design again, but this is going to be the size of your selection, so what is highlighted in red. And I only have one thing on there, so both of these numbers are going to match, but if I had a name below it um, and I had my name highlighted in red, then um, you would show you different numbers there, okay? This is how much you have moved your design um, against the Y or the X axis, so up or down or left and right. This is telling you the rotation that you've changed it and how many steps that this design is going to be. Or I can come here, instead of zooming in here, I can press my plus button and I can zoom in using these buttons as well. Okay, when you are wanting to size, you obviously press the size button. It's easy for you. And then you have two options. Automatically, anytime you input anything, that this size option is going to be selected. And that is just your general sizing. It's going to allow you to increase or decrease your design by approximately 20%. But it's not going to add stitches or anything like that while you are increasing the size. So you may lose some of the integrity of your design. So what I always recommend doing if it's an option on your machine, is to select this button here. That is your density sizing. Now, anytime you press that button, it is going to tell you that it's going to reset that design to the original size, position, rotation, anything like that. So press OK. And it's just basically put it originally how you put it on the screen. And then we can come here and, of course, adjust our sizing. But with this selected, instead of just doing 20%, it'll allow us to double the size of that design or cut the size of that design in half while the machine automatically adds or takes away stitches to keep it looking beautiful when it sews out so you don't have any spaciness or gaps or anything like that. Um, you can also adjust your density here if you feel like you need to do that for that particular design. And this is going to revert it back to the original. So if I made this 
look really crazy on the screen and said, oh no, what did it originally look like? I can tap that button there and it's gonna pull it back into the original size that I imported. I can rotate and it's gonna give me the option to do 90, 10, one, or even a 0.1 degree angle. So you can get real precise with your rotation. And of course we still can reset if we need to. This is your mirror image button. So if I'm wanting to flip that design around, I absolutely can do that by tapping this button and it's gonna flip that design so you can see that bigger leaf is now on the right hand side instead of the left. We have a color palette here. So if I wanted my flower to be pink, I can tap the step I wanna change pink and you'll see on the screen that it has changed it to pink. Let me do a brighter one so you can see it. There we go. Um, and then we'll press okay. This one here is going to allow you to duplicate that design or copy it uh, in an orderly manner. So if I press this button here, I have my left and right sequence chosen. So it'll add to the left or add to the right or take away from the left, take away from the right. And this is your vertical. So we can add above, add below, take away on either of them. Um, and this, so this is really nice for if you're gonna be doing like patches and instead of doing one patch in your four by four hoop over and over and over again, you can just hoop um, the material and stuff in your eight by 12 hoop and duplicate it until it fills up the hoop. And this is perfect for that. Um, this feature here actually is a copy paste button, but it kind of does it right on top. So when I push this, you're gonna see it and put it right laying on top of the last one I did. And then I can move it over where I want it. Um, so this one just kind of lets you move it freely. I'm gonna press delete to delete that section. And it's making sure that's what I wanna do. Um, this is an applique button. So what I can do is I can choose that feature and the machine will turn this design into an applique for me. I can use the free form where it's gonna form around the flower or I can choose a specific shape and then it will say my applique distance here and I could press set and it would add it around it. Um, and then you, if you have text built in, you of course can make it multicolor. You could arch it, stair step it, adjust the spacing between it, change your font type, all of that on there too, okay? And then we're gonna press edit end. That's gonna take you to the next screen. However, if you wanted to add something to this, you would press add and it would take you back a screen to let you add it together, but we're wanting to advance. So we're gonna press edit end. And now we have this screen here. Top half looks similar to what we've already been over, um, but the bottom half's a little bit different. We can still rotate here. You still have the same options. You have your auto basting. So if I choose this button on the screen, you're gonna see a stitch appear around my flower. Okay, that auto basting is typically for if you're gonna be doing water soluble topping, and it really just kind of holds that water soluble um, topping onto the material flat so it doesn't ripple or anything like that for um, at the end when you're gonna tear it off. And then this one here is going to allow you to put in stops for if you're doing applique. So these hands are gonna add a stop um, between your steps. Or if I don't wanna stitch, or a, sorry, a step to stitch up all together, I can say, oh, no, I don't want it to have green, any leaves. I can select this tab here and it's going to delete that leaf. You can see it right here. It's gonna actually delete it and not stitch it out for you. Okay, that's a really neat feature that it has. This one here, that is your color sort. So as long as you don't have a design that is overlapping, which our design overlaps, but if you don't have a design that's overlapping, what that's gonna do is it's gonna just reorient the steps in order for you to sew out all the light colors together. Um, so the machine, of the head of the machine doesn't have to move as often. We have these options here. This is telling the machine to tie off at the beginning of stitching and to tie off at the end of stitching. You always wanna keep those selected because if not, your design may unravel. Um, and then this is your move area. So if I wanted to move this flower within my hoop, I can use my arrows and dictate where I want it to go. And it's gonna tell me here how far I've moved it. Um, this is your speed control of how fast you're gonna move it. So this is really, really, really slow. And you can pay attention to that number there and you're gonna see that it's not moving very fast. This one in the middle, that's kind of your average speed. It's gonna move it, ex not exponentially, but it's gonna move it to where you can actually visualize where it's going a little bit faster. And then this one will zoom across the screen. So you have a couple different features there and you can kind of control how fast you want it to move. Okay, edit again, will take us back to the previous screen. 
memory here, we have the option to save that design to the memory of our machine, back to our SD card, back to our flash drive, back to our computer, wherever we want to save this design from how we've edited it. And then we have our stitch points. So under this feature here, we can check a specific point. So if I am doing this above a pocket and I want to make sure that the bottom is not um, going to be, the bottom of the design is not going to sew the top of the pocket shut, I can choose that bottom specific point and my laser light is going to show me if I'm touching that pocket or not and I can make my adjustments and I always go back to the middle. This one is your trial button. So if you push this one, this one's going to show you all of your outer perimeter points. So your highest and lowest, widest points, all in one fell swoop. So um, this one's all of them and this one's a specific point that you get to dictate. And then when we press embroidery, because we are ready and we like where it's at, we're gonna come to our final embroidery screen. Typically you are probably gonna see a message like this. It says change your threads and check the button or click the check start button. Um, that is just making sure that you are gonna check and make sure your threads are on the right needles. Um, so we're gonna press okay. And then, of course, your top half still looks the same. This one here, this row, is going to be a reserve stop, which is telling the machine to stop after this specific st step. Okay, um, this is telling you how, oops, how long you have that this design is going to sew out. This is telling you how many steps and how many steps you've completed, how many stitches and how many stitches you've completed, how many minutes and how many minutes you've completed. This is going to be the sew sequence, and this is your progress bar, okay? So you can watch this red line, and it, as it proceeds through the design, you'll see that progress bar um, move as well, okay? You have return to take you back. We have this one here, which will change it to a monochromatic design to where it will sew start to finish without changing the colors. It'll just sew out on whichever needle you specify. Oops. Sorry, this one is the needle swap button or the needle orientation button. Okay, so um, we can press that button and say I had, oh look, perfect. It says red is on number five. I have two reds on there, but say I want to use this red. Instead of it saying red five, I would need to tap that one where it says it is and where I know it is and you see that blue arrow there and then press the swap button and now it's swapped it so now it knows that it's going to sew out my red on number four. Okay, so you can do that with as many needles as you have um, steps in your design. This is the color wand. So this is a temporary color change essentially. So if I wanted this step here not to actually sew out orange, I also wanted it to sew out red, I can say I can highlight it and tap four, and even though it says orange, it's still gonna sew out red on four. And I can reset if I don't like that. This is your, um, we call it your needle minus and plus button, because everybody can see that, clearly that's what it is. But if your needle breaks, your thread breaks, your bobbin runs out, anything like that, anytime your machine stops on its own, um, it's recognized something is wrong, but you wanna go back a couple stitches to cover up any gaps. So you're gonna go minus 10, minus 10, when that happens and it'll cover up any gaps or anything, um, but you can also use this screen to skip a step or go back to press zero and go back to the beginning. Anything you need to do to kind of get to where you left off, okay? And then we have our speed control here. Of course, when you first turn your machine on, it always, um, when you get it out of the box, starts at a thousand stitches per minute. That's the fastest it can go, but we recommend an average of about 800. Um, but it really just depends on the project that you're doing. And then when you are ready to start, you're gonna press lock, and this button's gonna highlight green, and you're gonna press that, and it's gonna start your embroidery. So um, that was kind of a little bit of detail on the different icons that are within the machine here, but we hope it helps. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call at 318-869-1739. But don't forget to subscribe um, so that you can get notifications of our other videos and um, don't forget to contact your local dealer as well if you have questions. Thank you.